Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a couple of new lip products from Milk Makeup and this is from their Kush line, the Kush Lip Glaze as well as the Kush Lip Balm. So I've been trying these two out for a couple of days now so this is definitely still a first impressions video. I have chronically dry lips. I'm sure a lot of you out there can really relate, but it is such a struggle this time of year to find something that is actually going to help my lips. So today I'm going to be reviewing these. I'll give you guys kind of the down low on my experience with them so far, and then also show you a demo because I think it's helpful to see how lip balms go on the lips because everyone wants a different finish. Everyone likes a different feeling from a lip balm, so hopefully that is also helpful. And if the review and demo is helpful, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I would love to have you back because I do weekly content on beauty and skincare on my channel. So let's start off with the lip balm because this is a product I was actually quite surprised by. This retails for $16. The first thing that surprised me about this is how heavy it is and it's also magnetized, really luxe. And I, I just wasn't expecting that. Though this is a little bit more expensive, it's $16, like I said, I just wasn't expecting like magnetized closure expensive. But also I was surprised that this is green. It, that was kind of weird to me, to be honest, but I don't, either way, I don't really care as long as it goes translucent on the lips. And I'll throw up the demo. As you can see, when it does go on the lips, it is translucent and it isn't a super shiny finish. I would call this more of like a satin finish on the lips. It's for the actual ingredients, this is made with hemp oil, which is very nourishing on the lips. But I think what is really doing the heavy lifting in here is the butters. I think there's cocoa butter, mango butter, and it just feels nice going on the lips. It's definitely a comforting feeling, but this isn't a super thick lip balm. To actually test out the lip balm, I wanted to apply it overnight to see how well it would actually hold in hydration into my lips. To kind of give it a fair shot, I know throughout the day if I'm, you know, drinking water or eating, it doesn't really give me a fair look into how long this can actually hold moisture on my lips. After I had applied this, when I woke up the next day, my lips just felt good. And that's a good feeling because I usually wear the lip sleeping mask from Laneige and that is very thick, it's heavy duty stuff. But I was surprised with how much hydration and moisture this gave my lips without all of the stickiness on my lips overnight. So. Overall, I think this is really nice. It is more expensive, so, you know, I can't tell you if it's gonna be worth it for you, obviously, because, I mean, it's lip balm. You can go and get Vaseline. That will also repair your lips. I think it comes down to formula and what you prefer to apply on your lips. Speaking of formula, this is a really interesting product, the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze. I was expecting this to be like a lip oil, lip gloss sort of vibe, but it's not. This reminds me more of a sleeping mask, a lip sleeping mask. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the Bite Beauty Lip Agave Mask. It also reminds me of the Glossier Bomb.com. So if you want a comparison video between this and the Glossier Bomb.com, let me know. I can definitely do that video. But this is really interesting. This is also green, which again, threw me off. Um, and I have to say, because of the formula, the, the green color kind of off puts me a little bit more in this tube than it did with the balm. But yeah, if you just apply a normal amount, put it on the lips, and you'll see in the demo, it goes on really nicely. This one is definitely shinier, and this one is, I feel, more hydrating than the regular lip balm. Feels very plush on the lips and Overall, I just like applying this and I like the way it makes my lips feel. It feels comforting, but it doesn't feel sticky. What I actually did today was I put this on and then I put my lipstick over it and it just feels so nice on the lips. I this one is a little bit more expensive than the balm. This is $18. Right away, I have to say, I much prefer this over the Bite Beauty lip mask, the Agave lip mask. It doesn't really taste like anything, to be honest. Maybe like very slightly herbal. Definitely let me know down below, like, are you willing to spend a little bit more money on a lip balm or a lip mask sort of thing like this? Because I'm interested. I personally like to invest in skincare 
and we don't want to neglect the skin on our lips obviously we all have to realize like vaseline is a good option too it's definitely going to repair the lips so i'd be interested in hearing your thoughts down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful because again that really helps me out and lets me know that i'm doing content that you like subscribe of course and i will see you in my next one